guys, it's Ishani, aka Total Makeup Junkie 101. So today I'm going to be doing another Milani review video for you guys. This is going to be my last Milani review going up on this channel for a while, because I know I've been doing a lot of Milani review videos, but they've just been coming out with a whole bunch of new products that I have to review. I did want to get this review up because these are on the new and limited edition Milani Roses blushes. And these blushes got a lot of hype last year when Milani released their first collection of these limited edition rose blushes and this year Milani re-released them in four new shades. So if you guys are Milani blush lovers you may want to stay tuned. If you love matte blushes stay tuned and if you love bold bright blush colors also stay tuned. If you guys remember the rose blush collection that Milani released last year, they were all four very muted, kind of subdued colors. Some of them had a little bit of shimmer in them. These four that Milani released this round are all four bright, bold colors, matte finishes, no shimmer, no filler. These are just super super fun blushes in the drugstore. So this is what the blush compact looks like as you guys can see the size of the blush is quite big. This is 0.6 ounces of blush. 0.6 ounces also translates over to 17 grams of product and if you guys know most standard blushes come with about 6 grams of product. That's how much MAC blushes come with. So this one being at 17 grams is almost triple a MAC blush. These blushes retail for $7.99 a piece, which is an amazing price for quantity ratio because you are technically getting three times the size of a normal standard blush. I think the biggest selling point to these blushes is the fact that it has this beautiful embossed rose design on the top. It is so, so beautiful and it's almost just like a showpiece piece or like a collector's piece in itself. While these blushes are limited edition, I have seen the display of these at my local Walgreens and CVS stores. Um, you can also get these blushes online at MilaniCosmetics.com and I will put a link to um, where you can get them down in the description box below. And also if you guys are getting these in stores, these are safety sealed as well. There's like a plastic safety seal around the package, which I love because I hate drugstore products that don't have safety seals on them. So now I'm gonna get into all four of the colors that Milani is offering in this limited edition rose powder blush collection. This first shade is called Coral Cove and this is a matte, very, very bright corally orange. This next shade is Lady Rouge, which is a very, very bright, bright kind of raspberry pinky rose. This next shade is called Love Potion, which is kind of a darker rosy pink. And this last shade is Tea Rose, which is the most neutral out of all four of the ones in this collection. It's kind of like a neutral rosy pink. So here are all four of the blush shades swatched. Here we have Coral Cove. This one is Lady Rouge. This one is Love Potion, and this one is Tea Rose. As you guys can see by the swatches, while these blushes do deliver a good amount of pigment, with the exception of one of them, for some reason, Lady Rouge, the second one I showed you, which looks like a very, very vibrant, bright raspberry in the pan, I don't know if it's just mine, but it seems to have some sort of like waxy film on it that I just couldn't get the pigment to transfer at all. This is three layers of the product right here and I really had to build that up and it looks really patchy. I do have to say if you guys are familiar with Milani's blushes, especially their baked blushes, these are not the same formulation at all. These are very, very much more dry. They're not as creamy and they're not as pigmented. And the only problem with these powders being kind of dry is that they tend to get flaky and they tend to kind of be patchy when you apply them. So if you're applying them on skin that's already pretty dry, for example, my hand is pretty dry, they kind of get patchy and they kind of catch on like your dry patches in your skin and they don't transfer there very well so that's kind of annoying. If you have particularly dry skin and you're trying to apply these onto your cheeks I can only see it going so so badly because they are so powdery and patchy and dry. I just I'm not a huge fan of the texture of these. I find that pretty unfortunate because Milani has blown it out of the park with some of their blushes before 
are. Like I said, their baked blushes have only impressed me in the past. They are flawless blushes, incredible textures, incredible pigmentation. They completely compete with any of the high-end blushes out on the market. Unfortunately, these are not the same. They're not horrible by any means, except for that one, Lady Rouge. The other three are not horrible. You can definitely get pigment to transfer. You just have to play with them a little bit more. You have to be more weary when you put them on and just make sure you're blending them well and they're not looking patchy. As far as my overall thoughts on these blushes, I do think they are beautiful. I love where Milani was going with the concept. I love the whole super bright, bold, matte blush colors because those are very popular right now. I just wish the texture of these was more similar to the baked blushes. So that's pretty much all I have to say on these new Milani Rose Powder blushes. If you guys have picked these up, let me know what you guys think of them in the comments down below. I would love to know. Um, like I said, love everything about it except for the texture and that can definitely be just a make or break for a lot of people. So I did want to alert you guys about that. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Thumbs up if you guys enjoyed this review and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye!